Sean, obviously a disappointing result overall, but what did you make of that? Well, what I made of it was a, a fine side came here today um, against a well-organised side because I thought we were. I thought the structure of the team was right. Um, actually, the physicality of the team was right. They were trying to pass, trying to probe, trying to break, and they couldn't. But then finally they do from playing longer pass. They started stretching the back four as, as quick as they could. Uh, that changed the feel. It's a great finish. I mean, look, sometimes, you know, we could defend it better. Maybe it's a touch in there. It's a very clever finish for their first. And that one you have to take against Celso. So sometimes you go, OK. But the second one's really disappointing for me. It's a straight ball, straight ball, knockdown football. They get on it quicker than we do. I mean, it's a good cross and a good finish from a, a top striker. But at the end of the day, that's a really disappointing goal. And that's a really killer goal just for half time, 2 0 down out of pretty much nothing but like I said that's what these teams do and that's what certainly Man City are capable of. You're obviously coming into this game off the back of a, a big high with a Brighton game how much of, of that game plan obviously a different team but how much of that game plan was a blueprint for today? No different kind of game I, I knew that you know Brighton play a very very specific way these can mix the game which is always aware they've got players here make no mistake they, we know they can pass and play but the goals from, from changing the way going back to front a lot quicker knock down football at times high quality level of it of course but that's their secret you know it's not about just playing their manager, their team, they've learned through the years in the Premier League and European football, they know how to affect games. They couldn't break us down, so therefore they changed their style. That's what clever players and clever outfits do, and that's what we've got to continue to look to learn. But the mentality was clear. I thought the, the energy of the side, I thought the commitment to the cause, we changed the shape second half. They kept playing, we kept probing. The crowd definitely played their part without a shadow, uh, shadow of a doubt. We looked effective from set pieces. Strangely, we probably had the best chance until their goal from uh, uh, Mason Holgate. You know, so, I don't want to say they're top side, but it sort of feels like one that got away a little bit. I don't mean winning, but I felt we, we were in the game and could have caused that weird upset today, but not to be. But the crowd would have been, you know, they're brilliant. They're staying behind us, so we're going to need them over the next couple of games as well. I was going to mention that you see at the end the defiance, the, the appreciation of the fans at the end. How much does that mean to you as a group? Well, I just think, look, I, I get why they get frustrated when the team, like, but I don't think they've seen a lack of energy. They've not seen lack of effort or commitment today. Maybe the last 20 minutes against uh, Newcastle, I get it. But the fans, I think they're an honest fan group, and we want to give them honesty. I've said that all the time, we want to give them an honest side that give everything. And I think today they more or less did. So I'm not going to call, I mean, I, I thought Dwight Manil was absolutely outstanding today. Duke with his constant energy, constant running. Um, I thought Connor Cody did great when he came on. I thought Amadou tried to affect the game. Alex stuck at it. You know, everyone's sticking at it. I mean, Dom, Dom got a tight groin, quite obviously. I can't take a risk on that. So that's what had to change. So we had to do that. Hopefully that will settle down quickly. Um, and we lost our left back the day before the game, which is not perfect, you know. So these are some of the challenges. But I think they saw a team fully committed. They know we are. And now we're going to take on the next two games. Just a quick one on Dwight McNeil. Obviously, I had plenty of plaudits recently, de deservedly so. But a different role today, filling in a little bit deeper as well at, at times. How impressed were you with his performance? Yeah, as I said, I thought he was excellent. I think he has been since I've been at the club. Um, you know, I think his commitment to it with his, his, his whole body and his intent to get forward, to drive forward from a, very, a deeper position, as you said. But they force you deep. That's what Man City do. You know, they've got clever players, and when they need it, they put it back to the keeper, and he can play as well. So, but for him to stick to task, and we change the shape, and he's still stuck to car, uh, task, shows the mindset he's got, and he's certainly got a mindset to keep taking the challenge on. We want that across the team. But I think there was a good show of that at times today. So I don't want to get too low with that because with that mindset is going to be important for the next two games. You touched on Dom and Vitali, obviously both. Um, well. Dom coming off at half time and Vitaly not available today. You hopeful they're available for the next one? We'll see with me, Cope, um, see how that settles over the coming days. With Dom, we, we're hoping it's a precaution. He felt he was growing, but nothing too drastic. I said, right, that's it. Because obviously his record, I said, that's it. You, well, you've got to come off. Um, he was touching over that he wanted to carry on. I said, no, I'm going to have to make a call on that. Took that out of his hands. Um, so hopefully that's going to be effective over the next few days and he's ready to go again. And to try the rest of the uh, substatical, Garner, just Garner Gay as well? Yeah, 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 just, to, you know, these are players who are working very hard. They have been working very hard. We wanted to change the feel, but also we've got to make a decision. And it's 3-0 down, it's tough. These games are very tough, so therefore what can we do to make sure we're protecting people with their energy, but also injury for the next game? Thanks for your time tonight, Sean. Thank you. Thanks very much.